What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and me, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, I sure hope you did. You hear the boss music? It's because I selected it because I'm doing a video on Kazumi, the boss of Tekken 7. 200 IQ. But this has been requested, please, oh, Lord Main Man, the smartest Tekken player in the world, the voice of Tekken, the biggest arm in gaming. Do a video on Kazumi, you've de dedicated so little video time to her, and that's act actually correct, you know, and I I like the character, she's very elegant and classy, Kazuya's mother, like her very practical and clean fighting style. I mean, it's probably not something you would do in real life in MMA, but it, it kind of looks practical and neat, you know. Uh, I really like Kazumi, but I didn't play her because in Season 1 I felt she was... She felt kind of brain dead, but season two she was changed quite a bit, and everyone said, "Oh, she's much, much worse now." Cosme dead. <laughs> That's the Cosme players, at least. But of course, uh, then comes uh, Take from Japan, does well. Ulsan, Korea. Then of course, Arslan Ash literally destroys the entire Tekken scene using Cosme, the best player in the world, and of course. He doesn't win because he's using Kazumi, he's winning because he's the fucking best. But is Kazumi a very strong character and pretty much a perfect tournament character? Well, she, she pretty much is. You know in tournaments, when you go there and you're like, gee, everyone has like great defense and everyone's punishing all of these minus frames and I whiffed an attack and I got punished. In comes Kazumi, this is her thing, incredible offense with super oppressive hitboxes due to range, tracking and frames, locking you down constantly while taking minimal risk or no risk. Isn't that kind of good? Let's just skip launchers because launchers can be risky to do and can leave you open. So let's just go with poking. Just make sure our opponent can't do shit, we lock him down, and we never expose ourselves. You know, with minus frames. That's kind of Kazumi's thing. And in tournaments, people have good spacing and movement. Kazumi, the character, has incredible movement. But what she has also is moves that control spacing of your opponent. You know, make sure he can't back to 15 frames safe mid with incredible range. Homing! Don't sidestep me, motherfucker. And don't back don't backdash either. This will catch you. Look at the range. And don't sidestep. And down for one. What's that? A down for one with two two meters of forward momentum? Oh, it's actually wet. Incredible range for a downford one, and uh, shuts down sidestep left. It will track sidestep. If the opponent goes sidestep left, it tracks very well. Uh, and don't try to interrupt me because kablam! I'll try and I can do that at any time. No, and really fuck you up. And uh, an incredible jab. Magic four. Uh, I'm gonna go through a couple of the moves here, do a best of. But Kazumi relies on using just a few basic tools that all have incredible hitboxes and frames. And with very little risk, you can build a very strong and oppressive offense that also shuts down your opponent's movement. They have very limited options when it comes to defending. So that is Kazumi, and she also has some goddamn strong punishment options. Uh, but her strongest tool is, of course, the Tiger Duken. The Tiger Duken, I mean, stands alone on top of a mountain of the best Tekken moves. This is at the top. But no one knows about it. I mean, Arslan never uses it. I'm gonna send him an email, give him this tip. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the... The attacks. So her jab is plus one on block, 
No, sorry. No, sorry. It's plus one on block and plus eight on hit. And it also has got really great range. And she moves forward, as you can see. It's a very, very good jab. And, and as she has flash punches, she can do one, one. Really good. Then her downward one is minus three on block, plus six on hit. Incredible range, tracks towards the left. Uh, has a follow-up option in downward one two, which is a natural combo. Highly delayable and covers the entire goddamn screen. It's got so much range if you do the full thing. And wall splat. Um, this is there so people respect your downward one. Uh, just uh, an incredible string, to say the least. Uh, and then we have her magic four. It is uh, 11 frames. Uh, and on, uh, of course, as it's called a magic four, on counter hit, it gives a full, uh, full combo. Uh, ex extremely strong tool. Sorry, my girlfriend just walked in. Uh, okay, gonna try and continue. Uh, she was looking for her phone. Uh, I had not stolen it. But, uh, yeah, I got, wh where the fuck was I? <sighs> Having a family and doing YouTube. Uh, it, it is 11 frames, it is perfectly safe on block at minus 9, and it hurts a shitload if she gets uh, the counter hit, something like that. I think that's guaranteed, yes, for enormous damage. So this is a really good safe panic move, um, just a well, super good offensive move as well, if you can find setups for this. Ace, um, one of the best magic force in the game, probably. Down back 4 is, in my opinion, the best low in the game. It doesn't high crush, you see she she keeps her body completely straight as she does it. But, to be honest, it would be... It's already, in my opinion, the best low in the game. If she high crushed, it would just be ridiculous at that point. So why is it so good? It's got... It's fast, it's got great range. It is plus four on normal hit, and that's very typical with Kazumi, like all of her hits, like she builds so much momentum. So after that, your opponent basically goes, okay, I surrender, do what you want. Uh, and on counter hit, it knocks down for a guaranteed follow-up. Max damage is Tiger Summon for 41 damage, and then you can run in and apply pressure. Uh, and it's only minus 12 on block. It's not even minus 13. So you risk a while standing for punish. And you have a lot to gain using that low. So, yeah, and the range. Like, I can't speak highly enough of the range of this move. It shouldn't hit from that range. The, it's the best low in the game, if you ask me. Then back to... Uh, super long range 15 frame homing mid that is plus 12 on hit. Plus 12. And is minus 9. It's safe. Completely shuts down movement. Don't backdash, don't sidestep, don't duck. I mean, if, if you can find better moves to keep opponents in check than these. Uh, I'm all ears. Like, yeah, I'm all ears. Do tell me in the comment section. Um, and then we have downward 4, which is... Look at the range. This is minus 5 on block. That's pretty good. And plus 6 on hit. Is uh, in incredibly good. Uh, so th those were the basic tools I wanted to show. Um, but her punishment is also strong, like, especially the while standing punishment, uh, as soon as you're minus 11, while standing 4-4, I mean, is this plus 12 also? Something like that. Uh, it's, it's just an incredible punish, and it's got really good range. Uh, really good. And wall splats, of course. 11 frame wall splat, yes. Then 13 frame while standing 1-2, uh, 35 damage knockdown wall splat, uh, really good. And not as much range though, but uh, her while standing launcher is not, um, 
it's slower than 15 frames. It's is it 17, 16? Um, standing punishment, 112, uh, very delayable, really good. Uh, 1 plus 2, great 12 frame punish, does so much damage. Uh, but then for 15, uh, sh she has to hop kick, and that's uh, her 15 frame launch sucks. Uh, the hop kick is very bad. I think it's, to me at least, the worst hop kick in the game. It has no range whatsoever. And that goes for, you know, if you want to use it as a crouch while standing punish, uh, no range. Uh, so that's terrible, but honestly, you can't have that offense and have... Uh, still, the punishment is good in my opinion, but yeah, when it comes to launching, it's it's a bit more difficult. Uh, but she also has a Ford Ford 4, you know, to launch you. Uh, she has some cool uh, strings. Uh, she has Fly Stance Hell Sweep, Fly Stance Free as a mix up. Um, this mid here. Well, one wall bounce. Uh, her damage, her combo damage is good, especially at the walls. It's really awesome. Uh, wow, I fucked that up. So this is a female combo, but on male characters, of course, you're, you're gonna do this into 1 plus 2, but it doesn't work on females. And to top it all off, she has a wall throw that does 40 damage, even if you get the wall. It's, it's really sick. Uh, and she has some good uh, power crushes as well. Uh, and of course, a wall running 2 is just uh, a crazy move. Knockdown on normal hit, into pressure. Does 24 damage, incredible range, insanely hard to sidestep. You can sidestep it to both sides, but you have to time it perfectly. It's it's super hard to do. It's very little risk doing this move. And it's it's minus four on block with, with some pushback. Oh, sorry. She can quite easily uh, have them respect you. I mean, you are at a disadvantage, but due to the animation, a lot of people think they can't do anything. Uh, but yeah, just an incredible move. But uh, I hope this served as a brief introduction to Kazumi and what she is about and what makes her so strong. Very little risk, really control the match with oppressive frames, shut down movement with rain range and tracking. Uh, uh, and on every hit, very strong plus frames. Very little risk. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just wanted to give a brief introduction. Yeah. I hope that works, and I hope you have a nice day. Take care.